everybody, the 4.3.1 jailbreak is out now and it works for the iPod Touch 4th generation, 3rd generation, and it also works for the iPhone 4 and 3GS. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing, you're going to have to be on the 4.3.1 firmware, of course, and uh, there's a couple places where you can download it. You can get it from iTunes or you can go ahead and get it from these websites. This is iPhone Heat. Uh, and you can download the firmware. I'll have it in the description. And you can download it for the iPod Touch 4G if you're on the 4G and just select that. And then it'll download. Uh, or you can go to Felix Burns. This is where I like to get my firmware. And you can select your iPod Touch version 2G, 3G, 4G and select your firmware 4.3.1. And uh, after that, you just make sure that your device is running that firmware by going to iTunes, hold shift, and click restore, and select the firmware that you want to do the jailbreak for the 4.3.1 firmware. I'll show you guys that I am running that firmware. Right now, my, I shut off my device, um, so let's go ahead and turn it on. But uh, we're going to be using Red Snow for this jailbreak. So I'll have these links in the description below, so just make sure that you go to the description. And uh, this is a step-by-step -step instruction, so I'll also have this in the description. So you can download Red Snow by clicking on this link. Uh, I'll have it better labeled out in the description below. You can have Windows or Mac, and so let's go ahead and download the Windows program. It's going to bring up this website, and you're going to click here to download your attachment. And it should bring up a little pop-up right down here. Yep. All right, so my device is on, and I'm going to show you guys that I am running that firmware. Let's go to Settings, General, and About. I am getting a text message. Let's see. Uh, version is right. Where is it? Above the model. Okay, right there. Version. Oh, crap. You can't really see. 4.3.1. 8G4. I'm covering it with my flipping palm. Um, okay, sorry guys. My camera is just wimpy skimpy. I always use HD from my iPod Touch. So, anyway, the Red Snow program has just barely been downloaded. So, what you're going to do is you're going to just click on it. It's a zip file. So, we're going to have to extract the folder into onto our desktop. So, we'll open up the file and it's going to have the Red Snow program right there. Just click on that. Click Extract All. This is where you're going to browse and say, I want it on my desktop. And then you'll say OK. And then you'll extract. But I've already done this, so I'm just going to cancel. And uh, it'll go to your desktop. So you can close out of that. Next thing, uh, so now you have your Red Snow program and you have your device on the 4.3.1 firmware. So now all you have to do is just go to the Red Snow program so we can close, we can minimize the browser and let's open up Red Snow. You just go right into the program right there. You don't need to open up any of the other stuff. Now it says please select the corresponding IPSW for your current firmware. So let's go ahead and find that 4.3.1 firmware. It's right there. So let's go ahead and click on that and then hit open. Oh crap, not cancel. There we go. It's going to process the firmware and it'll say successfully identified. So let's get to the next. We'll bring up this little patching kernel deal. We'll just wait for that to go by. Um, for this jailbreak, it's uh, you can either do a boot tether. So if you're running a tethered jailbreak from Red Snow, you can just do a boot tether. But since this is an untethered jailbreak, we're all in luck. We don't have to use the boot tether for this case. And you can turn off your iPod uh, whenever you want and turn it back on whenever you want. So it's very convenient. So uh, let's go ahead and install Cydia. That's what we all want for our third party applications. You can install custom bundles if you uh, know what those are and you're interested in that. Just you can do it yourself. Um, I'm not going to do it. Enable battery percentage. I'm not going to do this one because I like to go through Winterboard to enable my battery percentage. And if you are interested in doing that kind of features type stuff, I'll have that uh, in the description below. It's another YouTube video I have made. So uh, just boot tether right now. We're not being. We're not doing that. Or enter DFU mode. Nope, we're not doing that. So let's just go ahead and install Cydia. Next. Uh, click next only if your device is both off and plugged in. Well, the device is plugged in, so let's go ahead and shut it off. 
So let's hold the power button and slide it off. There we go. <clears throat> uh, at this point, we're going to put our device in DFU mode. This is where the jailbreaking process is actually going to take place. And uh, some, some people have difficulties with this. Like sometimes the iPod doesn't actually go through the jailbreaking process for some reason. It just automatically stops. But to prevent that, you just simply hold the home button throughout the process of the jailbreak until the Apple comes up on your screen. So that's what I do personally. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys. Um, watch this before you actually do the jailbreak just so that you can see the process and how it's supposed to happen. So, All right. Uh, bear with me because I'm going to be doing this with one hand and so it's kind of difficult. And I'm going to try to show you guys both the iPod and the screen. So here we go. Next. Hold the corner power button for two, one. Hold the home button while holding the sleep button for seven seconds. Now release the power button but keep holding the home button for 12 seconds. All right, keep holding the home button, guys. I just do this for safety measures so that it just actually goes through the process. Your iPod's gonna say downloading jailbreak data. Your computer's gonna keep going through the process. I am still holding the home button. I'll let you know when I let go of it. The screen says done on your computer, so just wait for the iPod to finish up. It's gonna bring up a bunch of code. I'm still holding the home button. Uh, I usually just hold it until the apple comes up. This is just for safety measures so that I just know that it just isn't going to stop on me. Because sometimes it just stops and it doesn't keep going. But for some reason when I hold the home button it will just finish up the jailbreak. So um, I just do it as a safety measure. But if it, does, if it works for you that's awesome because holding the home button your hand gets kind of tired of it. And I'm just like gosh keep going just get it over with. <clears throat> but uh, if you guys are uh, interested in um, getting Cydia sources or whatever for uh, different applications and stuff, um, I'll have a link in the description below, uh, or I'll have just a list of different Cydia sources. Um, this is one thing I always do before I re-jailbreak my iPod is I uh, save all my Cydia sources. Like as you can see up here, I have all my Cydia sources, and before I jailbreak my iPod again because I don't want to lose all of that uh, information, all those sources, so I have to type them in again. Uh, and that way I can get all the information that I had before back onto my iPod I have now. Um, if you guys uh, n want information on like what kind of stuff you should do or any ideas of what kind of things sound awesome, uh, to put on your iPod and you need some information like that, just let me know in the comments. I'll show like what to do after a jailbreak video if you guys would like. So um, This process takes kind of a while and uh, it's installing bundles and all that kind of stuff. So Now when the Apple comes up, I'm going to let go of the home button. Thank goodness, my thumb was getting tired. And so uh, now we're just going to wait for the iPod itself. Uh, while we're just waiting for the iPod, we can go ahead and click finish on our Red Snow program and exit out of the little window we have open. So let's go ahead and go back to this. Um, last time we did this job, we did an untethered jailbreak. We used Green Poison and it had a cool Green Poison Apple logo on here and it spun, spun around and stuff. So the computer is detecting my iPod. So, um, I don't know, it might open up iTunes. Looks like my iPod is done jailbreaking, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, I put in the wrong password, or maybe the iPod's just slow. Okay. And Cydia is right there. Awesome. That's cool. And it, it looks like it even kept, like, my sources, so... Um, this is a... Preparing file system in Cydia usually does this. Whenever you re jailbreak your iPod, uh, it'll close out of it just so that it's like kind of like a refresh in a way, I guess. So it'll close out of it, but then you can go right back into it and no problems. So, And I'm not going to be editing this so that you guys know for sure that this is like a legitimate jailbreak because I hate it when like 
um, you hit on a jailbreak video and then like they don't show you everything and so I'm trying to make this as like visible as I can sorry about the horrible not HD quality so who are you well I am a user <laughs> all right and uh, there you go guys that's how you jailbreak your iPod touch and uh, again if you guys are interested in having uh, any type of after the jailbreak type videos like what to do just let me know in the comments and um, uh, I'll see if I can put one up there for you and uh, let's go to manage and see if it actually saved any of my sources because if it did that would be in, in t all, just awesome because I, I have a pretty good amount of sources in there but I'll make sure to put these sources in my uh, description down below so make sure to read the description, just go through all of the information that I have listed below and then you'll be set to go. Thank you guys for watching and uh, apparently it did not save my sources but uh, still I have them and uh, you guys can download them too. There's pretty co cool sources and uh, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.